It was in the 70s, yeah, it okay. was in the 70s. Okay. We were drilling a lot, of, a lot of wells for AMCO back then, and uh, the drilling company was Smith Drilling out of Illinois. But uh, yeah, it was real interesting. The biggest one we had hit, and the whole time we were over in the backside of St. Albans, that was the best well we had hit. It, uh, it was something, it was interesting, and plus it was kind of scary too. And it was good enough to where they would take in people's lighters and cigarettes and anything that'd make a spark, they took from us. And we drilled down and we blew the well out and uh, with air, and they wanted to fracture the well. So they got in uh, a big truck loaded with sticks of dynamite. And the dynamite was eight to 10 feet long in sticks and at least four inches in diameter. And they had a wire on the end of them. And then what they'd done, they'd pick those sticks of dynamite up and you would tie them together on the ends with a coupling and lower them down into the well. And about halfway down, they, they uh, in, uh, in line with the dynamite, they put the, the activator, I guess, or whatever it was that would set it off. But we loaded the whole truckload of dynamite down into the well. And after we finished that, we had to carry buckets of pea gravel in five gallon buckets and dump down in the well. And I think we put like a ton or two ton of pea gravel down in that hole. And then uh, after we finished with that, they made us go like a mile mile and a half away from the well and uh, they set it off and pea gravel just went everywhere and after that then we went up and uh, tripped back in the well and blew all the dust and debris and everything out of the well and uh, it made a better gas pocket is what I was told and what uh, at the end of our flow line we had to keep a pilot light lit and whenever we'd make a connection or something it would light up the size of a football field of the flame was just huge and uh, but that was uh, how we fracked that well